Citrus Aviation here with another video and today we are doing a Raleigh Durham Airport update for March and April and I do realize it is mid-May when this video is coming out but you know that's what happens sometimes. Uh, hopefully you'll be seeing uh, monthly updates after this and uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoy it. There'll be a lot of great airport updates in the future. This should hopefully become more of a regular thing. And uh, first off we have a new board here. As you can see I have a new 4x8 that I have painted. Uh, the painting method I used was spray paint. It didn't work that well, so I'm going to end up using a better painting method uh, soon. The, you know, typical paint with paintbrush thing. Uh, I do have a tunnel here painted. This is tunnel 2, representing the miniature version of it. Um, it would need to be about 30% bigger to represent the entire tunnel, but you can see it's kind of here. And uh, today we have a Raleigh Durham Airport update. Oh, this is my favorite airport. And I'm really excited to do it. As you can see, the board's plenty big enough to do Tunnel 2, so that's why I'm planning on doing this board as well, using it for other airports as well. So anyway, let's get started. And uh, we're going to first start with the Delta MD-88 that's taxing. The retirement date for these aircraft has been decided. They are retiring June the 1st, 2020. So it's very sad to see that happen, but I will be able to put these in a few more updates before they are all gone. This guy is obviously heading to Atlanta. And if we follow along, we have this Delta 757200, which is a new model. Look at that beauty. November 70203TW. You can see it there on the tail. This is a new model I just got. Technically a really old one. It's the 2008 release Delta 757200 with winglets. This is a really nice looking model. Super happy to get this. I've been looking to get this for a long time. It's a very rare model. And I finally got it. And it's now my ninth Delta 757. So, you know, if you guys think I like 75s, yeah, I really like them, as you can probably tell. So, here you can see the Delta 757. It's going to go to Atlanta. It's very nice. And uh, this flight is flight number 1666. And uh, I forgot to mention the flight number on the MD-88, that is number 1828, that's the flight number there. We have 1666 heading to Atlanta. And uh, then we have over here, turning on to the taxiway after just arriving, is this MD-11. It is by UPS. This guy just came in from Richmond, Virginia. And then taking off, runway 23 right, is this US Airways operating as American E-170. This guy came in from Philadelphia. And uh, this will be the first update to show the results of the COVID-19 pandemic, as I can kind of talk about that now without YouTube hating me for doing so. So I can talk about COVID-19. And uh, yeah, so this will be showing the routes kind of affected by COVID-19. The Philadelphia route downgrade, I believe it used to be like an E-190 or A319 or a CR9. But anyway, it's the E-170 now. You can see here this United A320 is taxiing in from Newark. I like how the gray mixes in really well with the uh, airport. Over here I have a little representation of Terminal 1, which is occupied by Southwest. I'm not exactly sure what happened to the move. Uh, the move was supposed to happen April 1st for Allegiant and Frontier to move over here. Uh, I haven't checked to see if that actually happened, but I will check after this update. And you'll know in the next update because I'll have the information update for that. I don't also I don't also have any routes in this update. Uh, that will be coming next update. So if you have a route or if you want a route, comment below and I'll see what you can do. Please make sure that your routes are to real airports for Raleigh Dome. If you want fictional routes, you can do that to Burlington Central Carolina. All right, that out of the way, we're going to get started with this Southwest Century 7 700. He came in from Denver and he'll head out to Baltimore. The 737 800 came in from Los Angeles and I'll head out to Dallas Love Field. The 700 in the Canyon Blue. This guy came in from Midway and he'll head out to Tampa. And then the 700 in the Colorado One livery came in from Baltimore and he'll head out to St. Louis. All right. So now move on to Tunnel 2. And here we have this United E-170. This guy came in from Chicago O'Hare and he will head out to Newark. Next up we have the United A319. This guy is here on the San Francisco route. That route has been downgraded because of the pandemic. 
All right, if we move over here, we have the Alaska 737-800 here from Seattle. This is a downgrade. Um, usually it's a 900, sometimes it's an 800, and we have had the A320 Neos to Raleigh, but um, right now it's an 800. Next up, we have the Frontier A320 Neo. This guy came in from Denver, and he will head out to Orlando. And if we move down, we have a Delta 717-200. This guy came in from Detroit and he went out to Minneapolis. Here we have an American 737-800 at the uh, kind of slanted gate. I believe that's a C-13 to 737-800 in the Air Cow Retro. This guy came in from Miami and he went out to Chicago here. Here we have the American A321 going to Charlotte and the American A320 also going to Charlotte. We have no wide bodies here, no American Flight 173 and 174 to London Heathrow, no Delta 767 to Paris. Here we have the American Eagle E145. This guy will be going out to New York LGA and he came in from there, for one of those mini daily flights. And the E170 came in from Chicago O'Hare, another downgrade. Here we have the Air Canada CRJ900 just turning into his gate. We're going to say he's turning into gate C12. He is coming in from Toronto. The JetBlue E190 is at his gate. And this guy came from JFK and he'll head out to Boston. And then we have the Northwest Operator Delta CRJ900 coming in from Boston and he'll head out to New York LGA. I'm super happy to finally have a CRJ900 because there are a bazillion of them out of Raleigh Dome. So that is it for this update. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day and God bless you.